gifts. Oh, oh, hello, boys and girls. Hi, Santa. Hi, how are you? Yeah, they told me you were waiting for me here. Yeah. I counted the 60 and 30 and you are still not here. Oh, you counted that long and I still wasn't here. Uh-huh. Well, I tell you what, I just got back from a long trip. I just got back from France where I was learning all about the great things they do at Noel. Noel means Christmas in French. Did you know that? Well, that's the word for Christmas. Yes. Surprisingly, they do almost similar things to our own Christmas. But they do have some delicious dishes that they like to set out on Noel. And we know how I love treats. That's why here in the United States, you leave out cookies and milk for me. In France, they have something as sweet as a cookie, but it's as thin as paper. If you haven't guessed yet, I'm talking about crepes. And another delicious dish they eat around Noel is a Yule log. It looks like a tree log, but tastes ooh, ooh, like heaven to me, I tell you. But before we take a look at how to make both of these treats, why don't we read some of these letters? Yeah. Who's going to be first, Marmar? Me. She's going to be Me. first. Okay, let's take them in line here. Come over and stand by my knee here. Okay, and what's your name? Marianna. Marianna, and she says, hello, I'm Marianna. I hope you had a good year. <laughs> and I am on your nice list, okay? May I please have some rainbow sorting crayons? And a Project Runway Ultimate Set, and also an Easy Bake Oven. She's going to make me some cookies. Yes. It is for eight-year-olds, but I'm, a, I'm seven. But my mom said it would be okay. And that's from Marianne. Thank you for that nice letter. Okay, we're going to put that in the mailbox here. Who's next? Come on, Marianne. Who's next? Let's just take him down the line there. Oh, look at this guy. Dressed up so fancy for Christmas. What's your name? Corbin. Corbin. Okay, and with a K, okay. Here, Santa, I've been a good boy this year. Here are some things I'm wishing for. Paw Patrol toys, Minecraft toys, and a Max tow truck, huh? <laughs> that would do the trick, huh? All right, thank you for that nice letter, Corbin. Okay, we're going to put that in the mailbox here. Next. Okay. Hi there. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Isidra, did you pick that name out? Uh, no, my mom. Your mom picked that name out. Okay, this year I've tried very hard to be a good girl. And sometimes it's pretty hard, isn't it? Okay. How are a few things? Here are a few things I'm wishing for. Minecraft toys, American Girl doll and accessories, and arts and craft supplies. Do you like to do arts and crafts? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for that nice letter. Okay, who's going to be next? Who's going to be next? One at a time. All right, what's your name? Huh? You got a name? It's Landrick. Landrick, okay. Are you checking out my beard? Mm-hmm. Huh? Do you think that would tickle? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Games and toys. Oh, this is what he wants, the wish. Games and toys for kids that can afford them, or that can't afford them. I see, so I should bring that to other kids, huh? Mm-hmm. Mints and candy canes, Nintendo Wii, and Nintendo DS games, uh, pigeon books, a foosball table, credit cards for mom's phone to buy games, money for Black Belt Club, car to drive, and a phone. Well, that's quite a list. Okay, thank you for that list. Okay. Should we take one more? I'm going to put that in the mailbox here. Should we take one more? I'm next. On. Yes. You're next? You're next. Okay. Let's see. And what's your name? Xander, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, that's my brother. Is that your brother? Okay. I can stand next to him. Can you stand next to him? Okay. One toy. Mega, what is that? Megalodon. Megalodon. Okay. I what like is your it? ornament. Yeah, you like And the next one, one is a white, white shark. shark. Oh, boy. And the next one? Ambulocetus toy. Okay. Camper with fishing supplies and a hydra. These are all dinosaurs, aren't they? And my mom's huh? taking uh, a picture Not all of them. Not all of them, huh? My okay. mom's taking a picture of them. She has, oh, okay. Uh, hey, we lost our place here. What is, what's this one here? Uh, 
That's a uh, tender uh, bore, uh, bore uh, source, huh? Uh, we didn't get here We yet. didn't get there? We were only oh, here. Oh, okay. Well, we won't forget. We got and the whole list here. And Yeah, we got and a... And Hydrotherosaurus. Yeah, okay. Toy, Come back. Okay. Come back. Let them brother. Toy Amnamite. And a shark, prehistoric shark tube. Uh, Cambrian, life tube, prehistoric sea life. You like all that stuff, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, a saber tooth cat model, Ooh. toy nautilus, a toy ichthyosaurus. I can't even say that. Ichthyosaurus. Well, see, you got it all figured out there. Ichthyosaurus. Okay. Well, we're gonna put that in the in the mailbox. And, and did I forget one? Toy giganopsid. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, that is pretty scary. I drew a picture. All right. Well, come here now. Reading these letters sure has made me hungry. Did it make you hungry? No? Nope. Okay, kids, but it made why, me don't, hungry for meat. why don't we <laughs> learn how to make crepes? We're not going to make meat. We're going to make crepes. We're going to make some crepes. I'm hungry for some meat. How to make a French crepe. To get started, you're going to need one cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, two cups of milk, three eggs, and some fresh fruit. Your first step is to combine your one cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt into a large bowl. And mix the ingredients together. Next, you're going to want to add the three eggs and two cups of milk into another large bowl and whisk the ingredients together. Now you can add the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Make sure to thoroughly whisk them together until the batter is silky smooth. And if you want it extra silky, just add butter. Now you're ready to make some crepes. Pour the batter into a non-stick pan and swirl the batter around to thin it out. When the bottom layer is crispy, it's time to flip. Let the crepe cook until both sides are golden brown. There are many varieties of crepes, but for a healthy alternative, use fresh fruit. Don't forget to add some Christmas cheer. You can also make a dessert out of it by adding ice cream. Just remember, making crepes should be fun, so experiment and enjoy. Have a Merry Christmas. Did you yes. know that they serve these all through the marketplaces in Paris? And this market is full of bright and colorful lights, making the city a beautiful place to be at Christmas. But I don't think it's better than being here with you kids reading letters. So let's read some more. You Who's know, next? I think we got to find Come out Come on, what you want. you're next. Come on up here. Okay. Open it all up and fold it up here. Oh, well, let's see here. Kai, uh, I, he, oh, I was wondering why I couldn't read that. So <laughs> funny there. What's your name? Alex. Alex, dear Santa, I've been very good boy this year. For Christmas, I would like Lego Police Station, Lego Attack Base Camp. No, Ar Arctic. Arctic. Oh my gosh, that's up by me. I should have been able to read that, right? Okay, Pokemon cards. Lego Jedi. Scout. 
Doubtfire and a Zoomer Dino. Dino, 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 Dino. Okay, we got that one. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, who's next? Who's next? Come on, you next to read your letter. Okay, and she's so pretty here in her Christmas outfit. Okay, what's your name? Rachel. Rachel, okay. Dear Santa, I've been ex extra good this year. For Christmas, I would like a baby Elsa doll. Talking Dora, a bracelet maker, new glitter glue and markers, and a Barbie sparkle doll. And that'll do it, huh? Yeah, okay, thank you for that nice letter. Okay. I'm gonna put that right here in the mailbox, okay? All right, should we read one more? Come on, you're next. Yeah, let's read one more. Yes. Oh, look at her. All these pretty things in her hair here. What's your name? My Zara Gray. Yeah? My Zara, huh? okay. Did you pick that name out? Yeah, okay. <laughs> My name is My Zara Gordon, and I have been good this year, and I want nails. Are you going to build a house? That's the fingernails, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Phone, Tinkerbell doll, Monster High doll house, Barbie tent, Orby spot, motorcycle power wheels, toy horse, and a Barbie car with Barbie in it. Yes. Oh, look at that. And that's a nice mm -hmm. letter there. Thank you very much. OK, are we going to read more letters, or we should go on to something else here? No? OK. I think these letters just keep getting better and better as we read them. Yes. I know my elves are sure going to be busy. <laughs> not as busy as Mrs. Claus baking goods for me. One of my favorite dishes from France is a Yule log, which is kind of a chocolate cake that mm. looks like a log. Ah, uh, let's find out how that's done. You're going to separate your egg whites from your egg yolks. Next, you're going to put your egg yolks into the mixer and beat them until it is light and fluffy. You are then going to add half a cup of sugar and continue to beat until it is thick and lemon colored. Next, you're going to combine the flour, the baking cocoa, and the salt and you are going to mix it with the egg yolk mixture we have already made. Next, we are going to take our egg whites and we are going to pour them into a new bowl and beat them until they're foamy. Next, we are going to add the salt, the remaining sugar, and continue to beat. We are now going to take the same bowl and add it to our mixture from before. Now we're going to spread the batter evenly in our prepared pan. Bake it at 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. While we are waiting for this to bake, we can begin making the mocha cream filling and the mocha frosting. Let's start with the filling. The ingredients are 1 cup of heavy whipping cream half a teaspoon of instant coffee granules, and half a cup of confectioner's sugar. First, we are going to take our heavy whipping cream and beat it until it begins to thicken. Then, we are going to add our coffee granules and add our sugar and continue to beat until stiff peaks form. Now, let's make the mocha buttercream frosting. The ingredients are 1 third cup of softened butter, 2 cups of confectioner's sugar, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 2 to 3 tablespoons of 2% milk, and 1 tablespoon of brewed coffee. We're going to go ahead and add all the ingredients into a bowl and beat them until smooth.
Now, we are going to carefully peel the paper from our baked cake and we are going to roll it up in the towel carefully. This is what it should look like, so we are now ready to add the frosting. And again, we are going to roll our towel up carefully with the frosting on it. After that, we can add our mocha buttercream frosting and we have now completed making our delicious Yule cake. Wow, that looks so great. I can't wait for Christmas to try that. Okay, all those these dishes are never left out for me. Maybe this year someone will, for my Christmas wish, leave one. And speaking of Christmas wishes, let's read some more letters. Who's over here next? Okay, what's your name? Christopher. Christopher, okay. I really like the presents you bought me last year, and I like that. Thank you for bringing me presents every year. Have the elves all been busy doing their jobs at the North Pole? I hope they have. I look yes, in once sir. in a while. Okay, Santa here are some idea for presents I would like. A book about Lego, uh, superheroes, a snowboard, a skateboard, a hoverboard, do you know how to ride all those? Yeah. You do? Oh. You have all the safety equipment, the helmets and stuff too? Okay, shirts with lots of pockets, pants with pockets. You like pockets, huh? And thank you for anything you decide to bring me. We will leave out cookies and milk for Christmas Eve, and that sounds mm. great. Yum. Okay, let's read another one. I'm going to put that in the mailbox here. Oh, Christopher. Who's next? I don't know. Okay, he's going to sit here. Why don't you come on this side, then the camera can see you better. Yes. Right there. See that camera over there? He's looking right at you to see your face. And what's your name? Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin says, Dear Santa, thank you for the fire trucks you bought me last year. I really liked it. Is it cold? Oh, it's cold. It's cold at the North Pole, that's for sure. Santa, here are some ideas for presents I would like. Please, a Lego firefighter, a police officer set, Lego books that come with Lego figures, clothes to wear to the Milwaukee Bucks game. Do you like yeah. to watch that? Okay, the Wreck-It Ralph movie, and skateboard for kids, or anything you think I would like. And did I do a good job last year? You said the fire truck was good. Was the other good presents good too? All right, and that's with love from Benjamin. Okay, and he's five years old. Come on, Benjamin. We better get another letter. You ready? All right. Okay, what's your name? Shakela. Shakela, that's a pretty name. I don't hear that very often. Did you pick that one out? No, okay. I have been good all year. I want a phone, a nail kit, Bar baby dolls, Orby, Orby Spa, La La Loopsie baby doll, La La Loopsie oven, Hello Kitty car, Frozen Barbie doll, and Bounce Off Game and Digi Birds. Frozen Barbie doll, don't you put her in the freezer to get her frozen? <laughs> no, she's from the movie, right? Okay, thank you for that nice letter. Moving right along, we better read some more. Get them all in here. Hi, what's your name? Jack. Yeah, is that your name? Okay, he's not talking much. <coughs> I've been very good this year, and I hope I made your nice list. I'll make, I'll make sure to leave you lots of cookies and milk. I would like for Christmas a Nintendo DS with Mario Brothers, Zoomer the Robot Dog, Scooter, 
The Guardians of the Galaxy Blu-ray DVD, Star Wars action figures, a trampoline, Build-A-Bear, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes. And Merry Christmas from Jack. Thank you very much for that letter. Good one, Jack. I think we got one more to read. Oh. Okay, are they hearing me there? Is that what we're having problems with? I gotta talk louder? Okay. <coughs> Dear Santa, I've been, what's, what's your name? Grayson. Grayson. I've been good this year and I hope I made your nice list. I make, I'll make i make sure to leave you lots of cookies and milk, a little bribe there. Mm. I would like a couple of things for Christmas. A scooter, right? A Wii, a U, iPod, Zoomer the robot dog, and a Ken Nintendo DS, uh, a MIP robot. Well, which which one is that? Um, it's a like a robot kind of. Okay. System. Skylanders Trap Team, Disney Infinity Two, and that's Merry Christmas from Grayson. And, and nice. I tell you what, you know I get excited reading all these letters and trying to find out what the boys and girls want, but. And I can't wait to get back and work with the elves and getting all these things ready. But let's read a story before I leave here. You know, that'll calm me down a little bit. Have you got a book for me to read? Yes, I do, Santa. Okay. Yeah, I... Okay. Oh, this is, takes place in Paris. That's in France where I was there. In an old house in Paris. It was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. And to the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, whoo, whoo, whoo. Okay, it was the night before Christmas and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even the mouse, for like everyone else in that house, which was old, the poor mouse was in bed with a <coughs> miserable cold. And only our brave little Madeline was up and about and feeling just fine. Suddenly came a knock at the door which made her pause. Could perhaps it be Santa Claus? But no, it was a rug merchant was at the door. He had 12 rugs. He had no more. Why, these, said Madeline, would be so neat for our ice cold in the morning feet. I see, to, it seems to me, said Mrs. Uh, uh, Clave, Clavel, that you have chosen very well. Madeline gave him a handful of francs. Here they are with all of our thanks. Without the rugs which he had sold, the rug merchant now got very cold. To sell my rugs, he cried, was silly. Without them, I'm feeling very chilly. He wants to get them back, but will he? Okay, he made it back to Madeline's door. He couldn't take one footstep more. And little Madeline, to find a way to thaw him out, the merchant, who was tall and thin, and a magician, bravely took his medicine. The magician, as he took his pills, said, Ask me, Madeline, what you will. She said, I've cooked the dinner nutritious. Will you please help me do all the dishes? If you'll clear up, I'll go and see if I can find a Christmas tree. His magic ring, he gave a glance and went into a special trance. The dirty dishes washed themselves and jumped back up on the shelves. And then he mumbled, abracadabra, then made the carpets leave the ground. And 12 little girls were on their way to surprise their parents on Christmas Day. Mrs. Clavel, again quite well, 
thought it time to ring her bell, which quickly broke the magic spell. And now we'll all be back, all 12 right here, to wish our friends a happy new year. Okay. Wow, that was a great story. I think it's time to go and get ready for Christmas. Thank you all for coming. Everybody here and listening to my adventures of my travels. Until tomorrow, kids, Happy Noel. That means Merry Christmas. <laughs>